So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys were one of the theme song shortened. So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Okay. Hi, everybody. Me and the child here. I'm not. He, he needs a name, guys. His name is something else besides Baby Yoda. Okay? We'll blame this season. We'll find something about him. He gets his own name. Okay? So, but anyway, the first season of Mandalorian is here. And, um,. This was really good. I it, the first episode of the season was really good. I so let's get started with the story. What happened? What happened in it? So Mando is looking for um another of his kind to um and the, he goes to a fight and a guy with one eye. Who tries to kill him first for his armor, which is pretty cool. I liked it. it the fight was pretty cool. Um, Baby Yoda, the child, hit in his little ball, the little egg, little egg thing, and while that was going on, and he said there was one in Tatooine, and he went to Tatooine. We see the lady that who was who worked on a ship, and he loud. The droids to work on his work on his ship this this time, and then he um asked for if there's any um of them. Amanda's in there, and he pointed out uh one of the towns that was basically wiped out, not like has not seen since um bef um before before um the Death Star was. Before the first Death Star blew up, and there's that planet, there's that little town. He went to it, and the reason it got wiped out because nobody's left it since um the second Death Star blew up. So, and um they had like some mining people move in and take over, and so a guy went and. I got some crystals and trade them in for um, Boba Fett's armor. Actually, Boba Fett's armor. So, Boba Fett, if he's still alive in that a toxin crater, at the, um, he would be without his armor. So, and he's been using it to protect the, the, the town. But there's something he can't protect with that armor, and that is a crater dragon, which is basically a dragon who lives in the sand. And and it, it ran into town and ate one of the um, the sand people's um, cows, whatever those are, whatever those things are called, are like cows. And he asked, he um, offered. Mandalorian, if you want my armor, which he does, because he thinks it's disrespectful for somebody else to wear it, um, that's not a Mandalorian, he says, I'll give you the armor if you help me fight, help me kill this thing, and so he, uh, he goes to the sand people and asks them for help, it's gonna take more than the two of them to kill the thing, and they come with a plan with uh, the people who live at at that little village to um, kill it together by using like some um, this um, bombs that they, they carry on their on their mouths and 
um, that took like takes like two of them to do it. it takes two shots. The first shot, um, they had to drag the dragon out of the hole and make him I mean, it blow him up, which has made him mad. And then the, him and Mando shot at it, and he also used the cannon to shoot at it to get his attention so he can give him more. So Mando made him eat the second load and him. So literally he came up, the, the, um, the dragon spit him out, and he blew up, blew up the inside. So he got the armor, so, and at the end of the episode, we see a guy that's bald. Now, if you remember what, um, what Jango Fett looked like from, from the prequels, because remember, he actually took off his armor, unlike Boba. But, and those two would look alike, since he is a clone of him. So, when we saw somebody that looks just like Jango Fett at the very end. So, yeah. So, that means he's still alive. Now, you're probably wondering, how the heck is he still alive? He got eaten by, he got eaten by a monster. Well, remember what they said during that, with that monster. It takes a thousand years for you to be digested. Bubba was only in there for like six years, was only in there for like five to six years. So it's only been five, it's only been five years since the second Death Star blew up. And maybe a little bit, maybe a year and a half now. But you know what I mean, because this show is based off, takes place five years after that, after that, during after Return of the Jedi, so Boba Fett's only been in that belly for five years. Okay, and he probably was eating what was, what was also digesting there. I know, ill, but you can survive that and you can get out of there. Okay, we just saw Mando get out of Belly Boot Dragon. Why not Boba? And that could put that means that he did not go down like a wimp, like we thought he did. But I'll, so that's um, so I'm gonna give this episode a ten out of ten. Bali, Bali, come on, kitty, 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 come on, come on, kitty, 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 kitty. What do you give it? I give it over five. I'm a teal. So, see you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe, and bye bye.